basic grade. This is your math lesson for Tuesday, March the 31st. Lesson 136 is due today, so we'll go over a few things on that. And then lesson... Sorry, lesson 137 and 138. The odds are due on Wednesday. Sorry, I'm going to get my schedule straight. So we will go over lesson 136 is due for today, Tuesday, March the 31st, and lessons 137 and 138. The odds are due on Wednesday. So let's just go over a few things on lesson 136. This has to do with getting information off of a circle graph. Let's just look at uh, the answers. For a few of these, page 278, lesson 136, number one would be the fraction and the percent represented by the shaded part. Number one is 50% and one half. Number two, the shaded part represents one fourth 20 and 25%. Number three, the shaded part represents two third and 66 and two third percent. So be familiar with those fractions, those percents, and what they look like on a circle graph. Number four, your answer should be 4%. Number five, the answer is greater. Number six, scenic parks. And number seven, historic parks. If you got those wrong, check them out. See what's going on, see what it looks like, see, yeah, see if you can figure those out because those will be coming up. Things like that will be coming up some more, so make sure you're getting them right. Number eight, be careful when you're figuring interest. This would be 12,000 times 3 times 0.07. 12,000 times 3 would be 36,000 times 0.07 gives you a total of. $2,520, $2,520. All right, that's all we're looking at on 136. Turn to lesson 137. Finding the unit price. Unit price has to do with, so I go out and buy, what, five quarts of motor oil for $25 a piece, okay? Five quarts of motor oil for $25 a piece. Then the question is, what is the unit price? Or what is the price of one quart of oil? This is simply a division. They do it by proportion. You do not have to worry about that. This is simply a division problem, okay? So if I say I bought five quarts of oil for $25, how much is one quart of oil? Or what is the unit price? That's asking what is one quart of oil. That is simply 25 divided by five. And so your unit price would be $5. And all you have to write for the answer would be $5. So for example, number one, <clears throat> three gallons of milk cost $8.55. What is the unit price? That is simply price, $8, 8 8.55 divided by three. And the answer to that is the price per gallon or the unit price. And all you have to do is make sure you have the decimal and the dollar sign. Number two is the same way. Five pounds of flour cost $8.75. What is the unit price? What does one pound of flour cost? That's what unit. The unit is one of anything you're talking about. So unit in number one is one gallon of milk. Unit in number two is one pound of flour. So the unit, the label, Whatever the unit is varies, but it's talking about the one, one of the thing that you're buying. So number two would simply be $8.75 divided by five. Make sure you have your dollar sign, your decimal, and you are good. Lesson 138 has to do with this kind of thing. So, we have talked about this. We have talked about the language. So you see this written out. 27 is 75% of 36. All right? How do you write this? 
So you have, you want to write this as a proportion. What are your numbers that you fill in here? You have two numbers, number over number, and you have two percent, percent over percent. Well, your total percent is always what? Total percent is always 100. So this number is always going to be 100. Okay, your bottom percent, your total of percent is always 100. So that number is a given, stick that number in every time, okay? Now, what is the part? So the number and the percent, 27 is 75%. Well, percent goes over percent, right? So this is going to be 75% or 75. Now, which of these numbers is represented by 75%. And you simply look at the language. 27 is 75%. Across from 27 is 75% of the total. The total of the number is 36. Okay? And we've talked about that. So, <coughs> get familiar with this language. 27 is 75% of 36, and know what the proportion looks like. If you do that, if you know, if you understand this language, then you can fill in, you can figure out any of these numbers if they are missing, okay? So you will have a problem like this. What is 75% of 36? So this 27 will not be here, and you will have the word what Wherever what is, that is the missing number. What is, so your what, your x would be here. Okay, that would be the missing one, and you simply solve that by proportion. 100x equals 36 times 75. Okay, you know how to do that. So if it would say 27 is what percent, that would be missing, your x would be here. 20. 27 is 75% of what number? Then your missing number would be here. Okay? That's why they wanted you to get familiar with this language. So that you can figure out, in a proportion, when there's a missing one, you figure out which one is the missing one. Here's an example. of what number? All right, let's set the proportions up. Think about the proportions. What equals what? So you have percent over here, so this is going to be what? This is going to be 100, right? Your total percent. All right, where does the 44 and the 88 percent, and where does the what go? So doing it, looking at this the same way, 44 is 88 percent. 44 is 88%, percent percent over percent, number over number. 44 is 88% of what number? What? Here's your what. We can make this a W if you want to for your what. So the missing number goes there. Now solve your proportion. All right? So you have... 88W equals 100 times 44. What's 100 times 44? Alex. 4,400, yes. So you have 88W equals 4,400. Okay, if you're multiplying by 88, what do you need to do? The opposite of multiplication, divide. This is what you're always doing with these. Okay. It is just 100 times 44, which is this, 100 times 44, divided by the number that's by itself. Okay? So what is 4,400 divided by 88? 
So what's 44 divided by 8 into 44 is about what? 5. 5 times 8, 0, 4. 5 times 8 plus 5 times 8 plus 4, 44. Don't forget that you need a 0 here, 0. So your answer, W, equals 50. 44 is 88% of 50. 44 is 88% of 50. All right? Let's do one more over here. Forty-seven is what percent of fifty? Forty-seven is what percent of fifty? All right. Again, the two proportions. Again, your percent is over one hundred. Right? Now, what do we got? What are we missing? 47 is what percent? Right? Of 50. So your missing number is the missing percent. So W there. 47 is what percent of 50? All right, and yeah, sometimes I probably get chopped off of the camera because I stand at the wrong place, so forgive me for that. <coughs> Try not to be too distracted by that. So here, your equation is 50 times W equals 47 times 100, 4,700. Or 100 times, 100 times 47 divided by 50. That's what you're doing. 100 cross multiply divided by the number that you have. 50 W equals 4,700. Put somewhere where we have room. 50 W equals 4,700, right? So that's simply divided by 50, divided by 50. Pack one of these zeros off. Now you have 470 divided by 5. 5 into 47 is 9. 45, 20, 94. W equals 94%. If it is a percent that's missing, if it is a percent that's missing, then put the percent in. So, 47 is 94% of 50. So you can have any one of these missing. You could have had the first one missing. You could have had what is 94% of 50. So any one of those can be missing. You use the proportion like that to figure it out. I will step aside a little bit to let you check that work out and then that will be all for this class. Thank you.